Welcome to the Rebuilding My Inner Abbey webcast, the webcast where we rebuild the inner abbey of your heart so you have a sacred place to meet Jesus. I'm Jeff Arrowwood, founder of the online spirituality program called From the Abbey. This is a spiritual spot check, reflecting more deeply on your mission by examining your heart. Welcome to My Inner Abbey, the podcast that offers practical strategies for Catholic spiritual growth. Are you ready to unlock your heart and rebuild your spiritual life? Then join host Jeff Arrowwood as he offers practical ways for you to restore your inner abbey. The My Inner Abbey webcast starts now. We're in the public courtyard this month, and we're doing some thinking about the mission that God has called us to. Remember that our mission is the way that God has called and equipped us to serve the kingdom of God and to participate in the divine life by participating in Jesus's threefold mission as priest, prophet, and king. In this spot check, we're going to take a close look at discerning your mission by examining your heart. Remember that our goal isn't necessarily to come to a rock solid decision about what God is calling you to do. Our goal in this spiritual project is just to think and to pray about it more deeply and to open ourselves to God's will. So if you are at a point where you know what your mission is, you can still stop and reflect and pray and get some course correction and some deeper insight into your mission from the Holy Spirit. If you have no idea what your mission is, maybe you will make a decision this month, but don't worry if you don't. You're going to take a step closer to that decision by, again, opening yourself up to listen to the Holy Spirit and see where he's leading you. Now, in the main webcast for the spiritual project, I encourage you to reflect on your heart. What are you passionate about? So in this spot check, we're going to take a more specific look at the heart. I'm just going to lead you through some questions that I would like you to think about and write about. So you're going to have to pause this, this video and you know stop, stop and think and write about each of these questions to help you to discern your heart a little bit more deeply. So the first thing I want you to think about is what motivates you to take action and to get involved. For example, when your parish asks for help, what requests make you think immediately, I can do that? What causes or issues capture your attention and your imagination or move you to action? Second, think about the people you feel most passionate about helping. Who do you feel God is nudging you to help? What type of person? Get specific. You know, their age, their personality, their circumstances or situation. Who do you enjoy being around the most? What kind of person do you enjoy being around? Who do you feel that you can most strongly influence? And how do you want to influence them? Next, let's think about the kind of needs that you like to meet. Brainstorm a list of needs that people have and then rank them, not according to how important you think they are intellectually, but rank them according to how excited you are about meeting each of these needs for others. Now, if you're a postulant member of From the Abbey, you'll find a list of needs in the spiritual project guide that can get you started. What I want you to think about as you're doing this is where you think you could make the greatest impact for the kingdom of God. Next, let's consider what social issues you're most excited about. Let's try the same exercise. Brainstorm a list of issues, you know, issues such as abortion or homelessness or alcoholism or marriage, and then rate them according to the, the level of passion that you have for each issue. And again, not according to how important you think they are intellectually, but how passionate are you about personally being active in these issues. Again, postulant members will find a list in the Spiritual Project Guide to help you do this exercise. Now, since there are many reasons that we can become passionate about certain issues, such as politics or you know, personal experience, spend some time really thinking about your passionate issues. Try to decide which pursuits would release your passion for God's love. And the final area of reflection I hope you'll find kind of fun. I'd like you to explore your passions by examining your dreams. Not your nighttime dreams, though. I'm talking about your daydreams, your hopes, your ambitions. 
What do you find yourself thinking about in the middle of the day? Especially, what God-centered dreams can you uncover in yourself? What role in God's ideal world do you imagine yourself playing? When you imagine yourself serving others, and when you imagine yourself making a difference in the world for the kingdom of God, what do you imagine? Now, the reflections that I just gave you are intended to help you to explore your own heart. But because we are created by God to live in communion with others, sometimes other people can give us a clearer insight into our hearts than our own reflections can. So let's think about how other people respond to us. First, think about what kind of help others ask you for. Why do people seek you out? What kind of favors do they ask of you? Are there specific skills or uh, specific areas of expertise that other people have identified in you? What questions do they ask you? What are you seen as an expert at? Second, think about your heroes. What saints do you admire? What was their mission? Who else do you admire in and out of the faith as heroes? And what do you admire about them? What would you want to emulate in them? And finally, discerning your mission will eventually require you to just get out there and do it, and therefore to interact with other people. When you have some idea about how God has called and equipped you, you'll want to start serving others in those areas. Now, don't worry if you haven't nailed down firmly what God's will is for you yet. Just start. And as you do, pay attention to how the people that you serve respond to you. Do they identify a particular need that you meet well? And as you help them, ask them if there's anything else that they need that they aren't getting yet. Also, notice what kind of people seem drawn to you and what kind of people you seem drawn to. As you serve, you'll also meet other people who are serving in the same area as you, or at least in similar areas. Talk to them. Learn their stories. Find out what drove them to this mission, how they discerned and ask them about their experience, and then ask them what they think about you. Ask them if they think that you are called to this area, or better yet, ask them how you think you're called to serve in this area. Find out what skills and strengths serve them well in their area of service. Talk to them about their spirituality. Find out how their mission fits into their relationship with God. And don't be afraid to network. You may form relationships to help you build your mission in the future, because we don't do this alone. Okay, that should give you a lot to think about this week. So spend some time this week thinking about your mission. Don't be afraid to get excited about the adventure that God is calling you to. Remember that you can find resources for this month's spiritual project at myinnerabbey.com. And there you can also join to become a free postulant member and get a bonus ebook and also a spiritual guide, a spiritual project guide, and a catechism activity as well. Now, in the next spot check for this spiritual project, we're going to talk about our spiritual gifts, what they are, and a little bit about how to discern them as well. Thank you so much for listening to the My Inner Abbey webcast with your host, Jeff Arrowwood. You can find show notes, videos, and more at myinnerabbey.com. Register to be part of the live My Inner Abbey audience and hear about our upcoming episodes. Or visit From the Abbey on Twitter or Facebook at From the Abbey. Join us again for our next episode as we explore practical strategies for making real spiritual growth and help you restore another room of your inner abbey.